happy people I'm back with another video and today I am super excited about this video so I'm gonna be unboxing a silicone practice hand for you all I just got a new one in and I have to give a huge special thanks to Christy Mays um, I was actually the winner of one of her giveaways I am so grateful and thrilled to have been picked. So if you all don't know Christy Mays, you should definitely go and check out her YouTube channel. She makes some really cool content doing really in-depth reviews on um, different products from Amazon and like various different brands. Like when I say she goes in-depth, she doesn't just do like a basic review. Like she goes in-depth, like she digs deep to try to figure out if these products are good or not and if they're worth um, spending your money on. So I'm gonna leave her channel a link down in the description box below. You all should definitely go check her out, show her some love, show her some support. Without further ado, let me unbox it. So it did come in this lovely package here. Ooh, okay, so this is a brand that I was actually eyeballing on Amazon. Um, I think they do make a lot of silicone practice hands, but this is really pretty. I'm loving the box, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be <laughs> repurposing this box for something else, but yes, yeah, from the brand Know You. Let's see how this works. Okay, so it's like that. It has that magnetic flap here, so we'll just open it up. Wow, and it's actually a hand that came with a stand, you guys. So I actually was needing to get a stand for my other hand that I got, and so, yeah, wow, it feels very sturdy. I haven't even opened it yet, it feels thick. So I'm gonna first look at the accessories that came with it. So it came with some extendo tips, which is good. It came with this base here, let's see. Okay, it came with this base so it can suction down your desk. And then it also came with some instructions on how to use it. So I'll be going through and reading these instructions to try to figure out the best way to use it. Looks like it comes in a couple of different skin tones. They even have fingers and feet. Okay, and feet. So yeah, that's what the box looks like here. Let's go ahead and assemble this piece here. Yeah, I really like that it comes with a handstand. I really needed something like this. So I saw on the website that they did this. And then you pop this on like this. Okay, and then you would just screw it into place. Okay, like that, awesome. And then you're supposed to suction it down to your desk. So that's that piece. And then let's open this hand up, you guys. It does come inside this beautiful little bag here. So that's probably where I will store it. All right, let's see what we got here. Wow, whoa, wow. This looks very realistic, holy smokes. Wow, do you all see the detail on this hand? Look at the knuckles. Wow. This looks very realistic. Wow, it even has like the little, like do you know how like your hair grows out of your hand? It even has like the little, I don't even know how to describe it, but you all know like the little part right here where you see like where your hair grows out? It even has that detailing on it, wow. This is beautiful. Okay, so let's give a moment for the hand here. I'm impressed with this, wow. It even almost looks like there's fingerprints. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I like this a lot. Okay. So let's take a look here at this cuticle area. You all see that's what the cuticle is looking like. They are nice and deep. Look at those whales. This is a really nice hand. Wow, I like this. I like this a lot. It did come with these extendo tips here. So let's see how these fit into the nail bed. And then I'll be curious to know how far back they go as well. So let's see here. So if I insert it into the nail bed, Okay, so the nail bed probably has like this much space then. So from here on out, that's how much the nail bed is, which is pretty deep. So that makes me think that it'd be really easy to practice with. Look at that. These tips fit in here really nicely. Wow, this is a really nice quality hand. This feels so much more sturdier than the other hand that I have. I kind of want to set it up on this base just to see 
what it would be like. I actually got this here. This is just a metal plate. So my desk, the way it is, um, this wouldn't actually suction onto my desk. I would need glass. And so this is just a hack for anybody who um, has a nail desk, maybe has a regular standard desk that isn't necessarily a nail desk. If you all have something like this where it's like a little suction cup and you need to put it on your desk, you can actually put it onto this plate here and then just have it off to the side and still be able to use the item that way. I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can get this set up on my plate here. So I'm gonna peel this off, okay? Like that. And then, okay, and then I'm gonna just set it down in the middle here, sorry about the glare. So I'm gonna set it down probably like right here at the edge, like so, like this, and then clamp it down. Okay, yeah, so you see how it's on there? So then I'm gonna just move this plate out the way and then we'll be able to practice together, okay? Yeah, like this. So I'm gonna open this clamp up, okay? If it's nice and secure inside the clamp, I like that. And so yeah, you guys, so now, when I'm ready to record, you know, this, this is the view that we'll have, you guys. So yeah, so now when I'm getting ready to record, this is the view that we'll have. I'm really liking this hand so far. So I did actually pick up some tips from my local Dollar Tree. I wanna give a shout out to Amo Love. Um, she actually um, recommended these tips from Dollar Tree for her practice hand, her silicone practice hand. And she actually did a, a dedicated video to me showing me how to prep my silicone practice hand. And so thank you so much, Amo Love. And shout out to you, darling. Um, I need to go back and watch her dedicated video again so I can know how to properly prep my hand. But she recommended I get these tips. So I did find them at my local Dollar Tree. And so I wanna go ahead and see if I can fit them to this nail, fit them to this silicone hand here let's see oh yeah these are really good let's see. okay look at that yeah i like that they like nice and snug in there too that makes me very happy yeah you guys do you see this look at this I am ready, let's go. This is gonna be so much fun to play around with. Okay, and then let's see if I can get the thumb. Oh, there is no thumb, okay, cool. I actually kinda like that there's no thumb because, you know, nine times out of 10, I'm not doing my thumb on camera anyway, so that's perfect. So, yeah, but do you guys see how realistic this hand is? Like, oh my gosh, oh, this is perfect. This is like exactly what I needed for my nail practice. Like, oh my goodness. And the, and the stand here, I'm, I'm here for this little stand, okay? Like, wow, I'm excited for this. This makes me wanna practice nails like right now. So this is gonna be amazing for me practicing my acrylic application, you guys. Like, I could just see myself using it like this. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just another moment for the detailing on this hand though. It's really nice. So this feels like a lot better quality than the hand that I have for sure. Like this feels very sturdy and very durable. And these cuticles look really good. They look like they can take a little bit of a beating. So I'm really happy to have this hand. So this here was the other practice hand that I had got from Amazon. And while I like the look of it, I haven't even used it yet because I feel like it's too like fragile and delicate to use. So yeah, that's what this looks like. So comparing the two, right, as far as like looks and wanting to take photos with it, I do think that I would prefer this hand, but as far as like being able to practically use it, maybe to practice your application methods and shaping and filing and things like that, this is definitely the one that, that you'd want to have because this is one where I feel like it could take a beating. So likely what I'm gonna end up doing is practice most of my sets on this hand. And then if I wanna do pictures for like Instagram or, um, or for like Instagram and TikTok and things like that, I'll just put it inside of this hand and then just take the photo because this is a really nice hand too. I like it, but you all see how, how flimsy it is and you see how sturdy this is like this is a heavy duty hand like this hand right here is just so soft and so delicate and even like the nail beds on this hand here like i said i like it but 
you know, they're just so delicate. Like you see how thin the cuticle area is. But then on this nail here, or this hand here, see look how snug that, like the tip fits in there. You see, it's not like moving around. Over here, the tips are like moving around, flailing around, like, you know, it can just pop back like that. Over here, you can't do that with this hand. You see, this is gonna be a much better hand. This hand is gonna be a much better hand to practice with. You see how thick the cuticle area is on this hand? And then how thin it is on this hand? This is just a really good hand, I feel like. Obviously, I won't know until I practice with it a little bit, but I'm liking how the tips fit in there. If you all are looking for something where um, you wanna do some hardcore practice, like application and things like that, this is the hand you wanna have. If you all are looking for something that's cute for photos and such like that, this is the hand you want to have. So yeah, after I put these hands to a little bit more use, I am going to come back with a more like in-depth review just to give you all my thoughts on how these hands hold up. But I'm really enjoying this hand. I just want to send um, another shout out to Christy Mays. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate you sending this over to me. I am going to again leave her channel link down in the description box. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing slash mini review. You all are going to be seeing this hand in a lot more videos. And actually as a uh, special Special thank you to Christy. I'm actually going to be naming my practice hand after her. So you all meet Christy. Okay. So Christy's going to be in a lot more videos, you guys. So um, go ahead and get well acquainted with her. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And now y'all can watch me do Christy's nails. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day.